Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Monday, time for another episode of My Home Mondays, but this one's a little bit different. I've been tagged in a van life tag challenge by George at Too Born To Travel. I'll link her channel below. Um, the, the whole tag, van life tag was set up by um, Mel from Peaches and Pebbles. She's got a van life channel. Again, I'll link that below. So what it basically is, is 10 questions about your van life and about the van and about you'll see you you'll hear the questions in a minute um it's a great little challenge and it gets it spreads the word on more channels and people get to know each other more so yeah um, top marks like mel nice one <laughs> right let's crack on with these what is the make and model of your van mine is first off right off the bat as you know it's a motorhome it's not a van but it's got a van front you know it was based on the van it's a fiat ducato 2.3 jtd turbo diesel uh 2005 and then the body is a swift uh swift sundance <laughs> i almost forgot what they're living in it's a swift sundance four berth and yeah 2005 like i say i bought it with 34,000 miles on the clock it's now currently about 55,000 miles on the clock how long did your van build take? That doesn't really apply to me because it's a motorhome. Uh, I'll just answer how long it took me to move in. Pretty much no time at all. I just bought it, cleaned it, made sure it was all clean inside, which it was, and then just moved my stuff in and off I went. And started van life straight away. Started living in the motorhome full time. So yeah, I can't really answer that question. Uh, where has been your favorite place to stay in your van? Now. I haven't really, I do travel a lot and I do go places, but I haven't really actually gone to nice, beautiful, scenic places to just sit. I'm more just about living. So I'm doing my day to day job. I'm doing, going to Tesco's. I'm going to see people. I'm doing this, that and the other. But I have been down to Dungeness a few times and I do like it down there because I can park in this pub called The Pilot um, and it's right on the shingles. I'll put a photo up of it now where I park. And you are literally on the shingles to the to the to the beach, and it's yeah, it's beautiful down there. But I do intend to do some more travelling this year to remedy remedy that. Uh, where has been the worst place you stayed in your van? Uh, hmm, worst place, I would say probably along the side of a dual carriageway, but it wasn't a lay by. It was just a, a sh it wasn't like a little bit of a housing estate but it was right on a dual carriageway a busy dual carriageway which had an underpass so it echoed and there was a fast road right by the side of me as well so that weren't the best but i still slept <laughs> like everyone knows i was sleeping in a bush how many people have you had in your van at one time uh now when we was at wilderness gathering there was me and three others all having a full English that I'd cooked in here, which I'll put a little clip up now, which, and we were comfortable. I was doing the cooking down there. The lads were sitting here, you know, and they ain't exactly tiny. Um, yeah, and we had a great time because it was piddling down with rain outside. So we were all in, in here and uh, yeah, brilliant, loving it. Have you had any van disasters? <laughs> well, the, one of my latest videos was uh, a little disaster about a screw in the roof and uh, solar. Uh, so I had that, um, which I'll link to the video below. Um, disasters, other disasters. Yeah, I had uh, a window blow out. The window on the side of the bedroom, up the, up the top bunk. I was driving again to a festival. And I pulled over to do some shopping just before I got there and <laughs> I looked up and the, the window was gone. It had blown out somewhere along the line. I don't know where, I don't know how. Yeah, but I then had to then tape it up with gaffer tape and cardboard. So that wasn't exactly fun. What is your favourite feature of your van? Favourite feature of my van would be the layout. 100% would be the layout. I know that's quite a big feature to, to kind of probably cop out and cheat. But I like, uh, if, if I want to go deeper into that, I'd say it would be the bed. Because 
it's always there it's always made up it's a full-size double it's got a nice mattress topper on there um and it's out of the way so i've got all this living space all this cooking space and entertaining space and my bed is always up out of the way so i can literally just pull off the road and bosh i'm straight in bed i haven't got to make anything i haven't got to do anything so that's that's yeah the best feature for me what is your least favorite part about about van life least favorite part about van life uh do you know what i i mean there's the odd few bits you know like emptying the toilets filling up the tanks but that's just usually just normal and i get used to that you get used to that i'd probably say that question what is the worst part about van life because i don't really know what to say to it um i love it i'm two and a, over two and a half years in and i love living in my mobile home I, I, I don't think i'll change it uh maybe like, along with that question and when people say oh were you doing it for this or oh was you forced into this situation no i weren't forced into it and i'm not doing it for any reason apart from i can and i want to so yeah i suppose that's the worst part but apart from that no i love it what is your favorite part about van life the freedom I do what i want go where i want when i want um like in a couple of days time it's new year's can't wait and we're all going up to a hotel up north to a 90s disco event weekend when the night and i'm just gonna drive up there <laughs> park in the hotel they've all bought a hotel room all my mates me i take my house with me so i can get you know i haven't got to pack anything i just got to drive there we're gonna go out for a chinese before we party our socks off and then yeah and then i'll stay there the next day and whatnot and then mosey my way back to work in a day or two time when i'm back in i just i do that all the time i just go where i want i do what i want it's a pure freedom and last question any tips for those about to embark on van life adventure yes do it do it do it do it do it do it <laughs> not trying to uh rob nike there just do it but yeah just do it i mean you can always change you can always go back and go get a rent a room rent a flat rent a house get a mortgage you can always go back and do that if you don't like it um if you're really unsure about doing it then you know dip your toe in maybe rent a motorhome for a week again that'll cost but you know or buy a cheap van and go away for a few weekends and go that way but yeah definitely just do it i mean i don't think i've found anyone yet that's hated the actual van life and hated the freedom and and doing it they some have come away from it because of other circumstances but it's not because they hate it um it's because of other circumstances so yeah definitely do it keep it simple you know you it, one thing i've learned is you don't need elaborate things and you don't need a lot to you don't need all the gear this is coming from someone who loves technology and cameras and gadgets but you don't need it all you need so many so little material possessions and i have thrown a lot away and given a lot away and donated a lot but yeah it's so worth it it really is and i love it so right that is my 10 questions answered now i've got to nominate three other people from the van life community so first and foremost i'd like to nominate the off-grid nomad he's uh currently in his van but then he's making a, a project overland um truck to move into which he's coming along nicely and should be along should be done soon so yeah i nominate him because he's in his van at the moment second i'd like to nominate the chick family uh their channel is round the round the uk on a tenner a day they're in a uh a morris Mar morris marina morris minor i probably messed that right up but they're traveling the uk uh, on a tenner a day for the charity that i went on a, on a sailing sailing with uh cat zero and they're great fun so yep i nominate them then I also nominate Steve and Wendy from the Happy Travellers. They're in a motorhome, so got, I've got to bring a few more motorhomes. They're full time in theirs in the UK. Another motorhome into the uh, into the game, you know, just to up the numbers. 
I'll link everyone's channels below, the three that I've nominated, along with George who nominated me from Too Born to Travel and along with Mel from Pebbles and Peaches that started this whole thing off, which is going really well. I'm loving all the videos that are coming out. So go check her video out, go check everyone else's video out and I'll catch you next week in the normally scheduled Motorhomes Monday. So keep the questions coming guys. Thanks very much. Love you all loads. Bye.